this video is going to suck. Took a little trip around town today. Checked out a couple places. One is a business that's been in town for quite a while, but they relocated to a different location. They sell outdoor things mostly. Like you can get outdoor buildings and mulch in bulk, and you can get the big green egg charcoal grills. They have, they sell those. But I guess their biggest item that they sell is uh, case knives, and they're a, like a it's the only brand of knife they sell, and they're like a master dealer, and they have they must have thousands of knives in there. Uh, I have a little footage of driving to the place but I don't I didn't take any photos or video inside because I wasn't sure what their situation was there whether they allowed that sort of thing and the place is not fully it's not quite fully baked yet they just moved in two or three weeks ago maybe a month and they still have quite a bit of work to do to finish things out but that was enjoyable I spoke with the owner who just happens to live about four houses down on our street here that's the first time I've really had a conversation with him and uh, wanted to offer my skill at sharpening knives since they're a huge case dealer and people come in there and buy knives and whatever and he said well feel free to put a poster together and we'll put it here behind the counter so if anybody needs their knife sharpened so now I gotta put a poster together uh, and come up with a catchy name for the place so there was that. And we have a, a lot of irony in today's video. There's a building downtown <clears throat> on Water Street, which is right across the street from Royal Spring, which is historically the water supply for Georgetown. And that building used to be a parts house, and I used to work there. Well, now it's a bourbon distillery. Uh, so. I went down there today and sampled a little bit of their wares, and uh, it's a kind of a unique place. They, it's smallish. They partitioned the store off to where the front, where you come in, has t-shirts and hoodies and hats and things, and uh, they also have a a whole line of barrels there that are full of bourbon, and they actually will bottle. They will take a sample out of that barrel and let you try it and if that's what you want they'll bottle it right out of that barrel and cork it and seal it right there on the spot which is unique uh, get barrel proof bourbon and then they have other product for sale that that is barreled and bottled at other places uh, but uh, they are in the process of they actually have a small steel in there and they're in the process of getting that getting that going. Be interesting to see how that works out. <clears throat> kind of hope it does. It'd be nice to have a, you know, homegrown distillery and craft bourbon. Uh, wasn't too awfully expensive. I think their uh, least expensive bottle was around $40, but again, it's barrel proof, so that's uh, not too shabby. I think their most expensive was $65. And uh, I took a sample of one of them, and it's it's not exactly to my liking, but hey, it's bourbon. You can't really go wrong with it. And then came back home, downloaded the footage that I'd taken, and was in the process a few minutes ago watching some basketball. And that's about it today. And for this weekend, because yesterday I didn't do squat. What did I do? Oh, that reminds me, I need to go in here and get my clothes together and wash them up. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like this video, give it a thumbs up. We thank you for watching, and please, tune in again. Off!